Hello, this is Mihai bringing you today another video about one of the many things you can do with the DNN Sharp modules. I'm going to show you today how to do calculations based on values coming from various action form field types. I've chosen for this video to build an awesome car configurator in which you will be able to choose body type, paint color and a couple of optionals for a new car. What you see here is built entirely with action form and it contains a couple of multiple choice field types, multiple choice with radio buttons which will allow only one selection at a time and multiple choice with checkboxes that will allow you to select multiple items in the same field. Of course the entire form will do the math and calculate the sum of all the optionals you've selected while showing you in real time the total price of the car. I've used a couple of static text field types just to show titles and horizontal lines but we're going to focus on the fields that include actual data. Body type. It's a multiple choice with radio boxes field type and it has a data source, an items data source in which I've added sedan, hatchback and cabrio coupe along with corresponding values and with an initial checked value for the sedan option. This is nothing complicated. I'll get past it. Uh, the color field type is again a multiple choice with radio boxes which includes an item data source with a couple of colors and their corresponding value as the price with an initially checked value of white. The most interesting part, the optionals, it's a multiple choice with checkboxes which has the same items data source with a couple of items and their pricing. Now let's get to where the magic happens. Let's do some math. You've, you're probably familiar with adding values from different field types by using the token with the field name. It's simple. You just write the field name between brackets and add them up. This usually works unless you want to add the currency sign in front of it. Let me show you what I mean. If you add the currency sign here for dollar and try to add it to all those amounts, you'll see that this happens. You'll see the currency sign, you'll see the amount from the first field and instead of adding the amount from the second field, it just puts it to the end of the first amount. It's because by adding the currency sign, you've turned the first amount into a string and everything after it will be treated as a string and will be added at the end. To avoid this, it's a simple fix. You just need to tell it to first do the math and then add the sign. You put the math between parentheses. It's as simple as that. Let's see if it works now. It better will. I think it does. Yep, it does. It definitely does. Now, another interesting part. The optionals, which is a multiple choice with checkboxes. How do we do math on it? As you can see, the output of this build is a comma separated values. Let me show you. It's not really that difficult. On the optionals, under the on change click, we're going to do this. We're going to take the comma separated values, split them after each comma, and add each found value to a variable. I've already prepared the code for this here. 
let me just grab it paste it and walk you through it so we're taking a variable sum of numbers we initialize it with zero because the sum at the beginning is zero then we create the array with all the values from the field type convert them to string and then split them by comma this will look like um, first value then the second value and so on that's the output for this line and then we just need to get each value from here and add it to the total as long as uh, this array is not empty for each element we're gonna add to the sum of numbers the integer value of the element and then pass that value to our total field let's see if this works saved and go back to the page refresh it and there you go math is being done here that's pretty much it now we have a fully working car configurator with some amazing math happening on here don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos and follow us on twitter and on facebook have a great day bye